everyone, it's Froggy, and I'm back again with another episode of Hakuoki Kyoto Wins. So we've got our options here, Trust Sanin and Stop Kazuma. We are trying for Sanin, so we are going to trust him. I trust you, Sanin. You're welcome. That's true. You do love your sword. You're good with it. <笑>鬼と言えども、そう簡単には錆にできないようですね。<笑> The two moved a distance apart from one another. Oh. A few warriors had arrived, all of them unsheathing their swords and surrounding Cosmo. They were furies. All of them had white hair and crimson eyes. いい。まがいものはすべてこの場で召してやる。羅刹隊の力を侮らないでもらいたい。カズマンさんはすっかり近づいてきて、カズマ、そこまでです。私は騒ぎが西本願寺に伝わりました。大事になる前にこの場を引き上げます。帰りたければ勝手に帰れ。それは困ります。今のあなたの立場を理解してください。いや、バックダウンボディ。わかった。この場は引いてやる。Kazuma yeah, replaced his blade into the sheath. And he shot a hateful glance towards Sanin. Kazuma and Amigiri, without struggle, easily leapt over the wall of the yard and disappeared. The warriors all dispersed from the inner yard upon Sanin's command. Finally, the compounds were silent once more. I was dumbfounded, and Sanin stood in front of me. Yes, more than you know. Thank you. Sanin stared down at his left hand, and he began flexing his hand repeatedly. Sanon. I was taken aback by how vulnerable he must have felt in that moment, and Sanon spoke warmly. As he turned to leave, I watched as his silhouette was engulfed by the darkness until he was gone. After time passed to the following day. Good morning, everyone. Ah, oh, hi, oh, Yukimura. You be a yoke name at a kai? Oh, um, yes. Moody was snuck the yo. Never so kuna no a kao me de bawa karu karane. Wait, is what's his face okay? Our little bodyguard? I forget his name. Um, how's Shimita doing? There it is, thank you. Uchidokoro ga warukte. Kyoshi 
特に支障はないだろう。Really? Oh, what a relief. 島田君も言っていたよ。役に立てず申し訳なかったとね。What? Oh, I'm the one who should be apologizing to him. おや、いさみさん、おはよう。どうしたんだね、機嫌が悪そうだが。もともといかつい顔なのに、それじゃ迫力満点だ。雪村くんも怖がっているじゃないか。No, I'm not scared. 別に遠慮する必要はねえぜ。怖いなら素直に怖いって言っとけよ。But I wasn't saying... それはすまなかったな。タイはないから許してほしい。What's on your mind, buddy? He gave me a tight grin, but then looked down, his face grim. I wondered what was the matter. He's acting different. Please don't apologize. Just tell me what happened. Hmm. すぐにわかることだから伝えておこう He wasn't just talking to me anymore. The rest moved closer to hear what he had to say. Nishi Hongan Jikara. Korejo, whatever ever Kokoni Todomaru no a Komaru to it dekta. Sore wa tsumari. Whatever any Kokokara de te iketo. そういうことですかいやさすがにそこまで直接的な物言いではなかったがまあいつかはそうなるんじゃないかと思ってはいたがねいやはやしかし困ったね The monks at Nishi Hongwanji Temple were imperialists and allies of the Chosu They'd never been fond of the Shinsengumi, but we decided to force our way into their temple anyway. It was no surprise that they wanted us out, but I'd finally begun to feel like the temple was my home. I was sure I wasn't the only one who felt that way. それにしても急な話ですね。まさか、昨晩の騒ぎが原因ですかああ。ここであのような騒ぎを起こされては困るということらしい。察するに。長州やサスマそのあたりからも何か言われているのだろうな。The ruckus last night was all because Kazuma and his men wanted to abduct me. I'm sorry, this is all my fault. ははそうではないさ。もともと無理難題を言ってここに押しかけたのは我々なんだからな。しかしどうするのですか。トンショ移転となると。また候補地選びからやり直しになりますのそれについてだがな移転先の敷地も豚書も全部西本願寺が用意してくれるそうだ What? ほうそりゃすごいよっぽど我々に出て行ってほしいんだねまあここは素直に受け取っておいた方が良さそうだなまた忙しくなるぞ A plot of land was purchased, and a new compound was built, all paid for by the Nishi Hongwanji Temple. It became the third headquarters of the Shinsengumi Fudodu Village location. The third Shinsengumi、uh, compound was located on the, in the village of Fudodu. Fudodo? Fudodo. Yay. In the new location, there was a big bath where a dozen or so warriors could bathe together. And even new dojos. The new warriors were clearly excited about that. By the time summer came, the Shinsengumi had left Nishi Hongwanji, where they'd spent more than two years. July 1867. Knowing better than to stay, the Shinsengumi agreed to Nishi Hongwanji's request and transferred their headquarters to Fudodo. We had to travel south from the temple at Nishi Hongwanji to reach Fudodo village. Whoa! 
The first, my first glimpse of our new home surprised me so much that I had to stand there for a few minutes to take it in. Pristine and in working order, the huge compounds out proudly upon a fair-sized piece of land. There had been so, there had to be so much space inside that even after the rest of the men joined us, there would be room to spare. There was even a watchtower. It must have been comparable in scale to Daimyo's mansion, and the thought left me awestruck. This is our new headquarters? Ah, sano tori da. Kore kara wa koko ga ware ra shinsen gumi no honkyo to naru. Hiro sa mo moushibun nai. Yokei na yatsu no me mo nei shi, kore kara wa iroiro to raku ni naru na. The stern look on Hijikata's face appeared to have vanished today. In fact, he looked to be in pr pretty good mood. But his upbeat attitude was nothing next to Kondo's. Hmm, so that. Yukimura-kun was still in the middle of the room. No, I haven't. So, so, so. Then, it's okay. So, I'll go to the room and go to the room. Huh? Oh, but you must be really busy with setting things up. You don't have the time. I wasn't sure it was such a good idea, but his smile was so infectious, and he nearly danced from eagerness. I felt my resistance crumbling. Hijikata's eyes slid to the side to watch his chief. He grinned wryly and shrugged. おとなしく案内してもらっとけ。一条っていうには少々足りねえが、一国一条のある字ってのは男の夢だからな。近藤さんも誰かに見せたくてしょうがないんだろうよ。uh, okay, I'd be honored to have a tour, Kondo. Every new house came with a certain sense of anticipation, and this one was no different. It was with building excitement that I stepped inside after Kondo, my head swiveling from side to side to take everything in. Sate, Mazua Yahari, Kimino Shisu Shokai Stokantana. This is my room? The new mats on the ground filled the room with a fresh scent, and the sunbeams that danced inside brought warmth and a sense of peace. The door design looked slightly fancier too. As if they wanted to give me a little something extra. Of course! I jumped to reassure him, and his smile widened when he realized that I approved of their choice. But is all of this okay? I'm not a member, and yet you're letting me have such a grand room. Yeah, <laughs> 普通の大使も余裕を持って生活できる広さになっている。それにご両親が抜けて部屋にも空きがあるからな。Oh, for a brief moment, Kondo's happy expression faded into a somber one. I had a feeling that he was thinking about Hisuki and Saito. Right then, I knew I was. I opened my mouth to say something, but before I could, his his face cleared, and he continued speaking. とにかく広さについては心配ない。西本願寺も広かったが、あそこは我々に好意的とは言えなかったからな。先方にもみんなにも心苦しい思いをさせた。それに比べればここは気兼ねなく暮らせるというものだ。You're right. We had only been borrowing space at all of the previous locations. Yagi and Nishi Hongwanji, and had to abide by the wishes of our sponsors, but now. I could only imagine the emotions swirling through Kondu with this new place. What other rooms are here? With a grin and a jaunty bounce to his step, he began to walk off when suddenly he came to a halt, calling over his shoulder to me. Huh? Curious, I followed him through the maze of hallways until we reached... 
we'll find out in the next episode where we're going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.